Uganda Communications Commission, UCC, the country's communication sector regulator, is prepared to continue bridging the digital divide evident across the economic sectors. Digital skillings of schools as well as businesses such as carpentry, mechanics and saloons will continue to be on the agenda. Going forward, digital skilling will also be part of parish development model among other structural agenda encompassing the national development program. So what we sought to focus on is connectivity and skilling. And again, skilling, looking at the different categories. We have the youth because we have a highly youthful population. How do we empower them with skills that can help them create employment for themselves? Multimedia is an area that we see as a low-hanging fruit for the youth. The other aspect that we're also looking at is to say those people at the bottom of the pyramid in terms of poverty levels, they may not be able to have, afford a phone. How do we put a gadget, at least one in every household? This will be actualized using part of MTN's Uganda 36 billion shillings check written to UCC's Universal Service and Access Fund established to bridge the digital divide in the country. I think the, the more important thing is just to continue to emphasize our unwavering uh, dedication and uh, commitment to ensuring that every person and even those who are disadvantaged, either because of their economic outcomes or the areas where they live, are able to bridge the digital gap um, and the digital divide and able to access uh, telecommunication uh, services. All telecom companies operating in the country are required to pay a statutory 2% levy on their annual gross revenues to the fund administered by the UCC. The 36 billion shillings, therefore, which is an equivalent of 2% of the telecom company's annual gross revenue, is in fulfillment of that legal requirement. Ismail Musa, Ladu, NTV Business.